Good morning, YouTube. Dr. Sola coming to you from Asese in Ogun State at Love World again. So, um, we started to do our firmware up. Well, actually, let me take you back. When I did the last video, everything was fine. Truly, everything was fine. Our panel lights were showing. Um, all the inverters were talking to one another. And then we came in and we put the generator on and the inverters wouldn't see the generator. So we, well, they would see, they saw the voltage, but they didn't see frequency. And um, I automatically assumed it would be a firmware issue. So I sent a message to our folks in China, telling them to update the firmware. And that was a huge mistake on my part. I had to go out and buy um, SIM cards to insert into this dongle. So uh, this particular supplier gives us the GPRS version. I don't recommend them. Um, I do not recommend the GPRS version. I purchased Wi-Fi, as you can see, and it's easier for us to do nine inverters on Wi-Fi than it is to put SIM cards into each individual inverter. So, Joe, um, yes, while it's fine that you offer GPRS, from my experiences and from most of the installations we've done, you should give us an option of either GPRS or Wi-Fi. So that's one. So yesterday we went and purchased um, SIM cards for the other six that did not have um, the GP that did not have the for the six that had GPRS. So I purchased the SIM card, we inserted them into the device, and then pushed them in. And we purchased three from MTN and three from Airtel. The Airtel SIMs didn't work. The MTN SIMs worked. Then they tried to push the firmware updates through and guess what the firmware updates did not take so this morning they told me they pushed through one so now what i've done is i've gone to each individual inverter and i've looked at the sim at uh, the version of the firmware as you can see uh c3493878 what we're supposed to have is c3526006 so uh inverter number one and number two have C349-3878. Number three has C349-6006. You, you get it, I don't need to read everything out to you. So now I'm going to have to flash and get these inverters to be, to have the same uh, firmware version. So now you're going to ask me, so if they couldn't do it, how can I do it? So this is what's going to happen. I brought one of these from home and it has a password and it has a serial number. What I do is I put it in and then I use my laptop to access that because this is you know, like, like accessing your home Wi-Fi. Once I access it, I enter a browser address and once I enter that browser address, it opens up this thing. It opens up um, Solomon. And then Solomon asked me if I want to do a firmware update or do I want to do an inverter update. I select inverter update I select the file, it's a bin file, and it does the update, um, shuts the inverter down, and then turns it back on again. So I'll do one, and I'll show you exactly how it goes. So the first first step you take is you go to your, um, so you go on your laptop, and you find that the device that I showed you, so it shows um, IP address, or it's uh, SSID, sorry. And then you click on it, enter the password, and then you connect to it. Once you do that, you come, open the browser page, and then you enter this number. So once you do that, it opens up, and it shows you the inverter. Now, I'm not seeing a serial number from the inverter, so that's a little bit of a concern. I'm supposed to see a serial number from the inverter. So if I don't see it, I cannot log into it. Device information, that's this one, but I want to see the inverter serial number. So let me refresh. Okay, now I'm seeing the inverter serial numbers. You can see that, right? And that is this number you see right there. So we come 
and we click on upgrade and you click on upgrade inverter and then choose the file um, I believe the file would be my downloads and I'm looking for this one 606 which is for my um, 8 kilowatt inverter then click upload it's going to ask me are you sure you are you sure to upgrade I click OK and then I wait so let me see if something is yep you see it is it's up it's doing the updates and if you look here that number is what comes up a00 and the number of a00 you see that number will keep going up and then once it's done it will it will stop the inverter from powering and the number will change so we're at six percent once it gets a hundred percent it asks me to close the web browser i'll close the web, close web browser this inverter will restart and then it will upload the firmware and i'll check to see if it is the correct version of the firmware so let me show you what's on it right now um, on it right now is c3493878 and what i'm looking to put on it is uh, C3526006 So it says inverter software upgrade is successful module restart so if you recall It was red Now it is green and it's it was an A before now is a B and it looked the countdown till it continue till it till it finishes the update or the upgrade the, the firmware update so I'll be doing this nine times, eight, eight more times, nine times in total. The firmware update is done. So you could see uh, C3496006. C3496006. They all have 6006. There might be some variation. C3496006. That's inverter number three. Here is inverter number four, C3496006. Uh, C3536006. So this is a variation. This has a variation of that number. And this one is also giving me an error message. SO5 and then as you can see, um, B. So I don't know if that's a phase issue. We'll find out in it in a bit. Yeah, this one C three four eight six zero zero six. Uh, C three four eight six zero zero six. C three four eight six zero zero six. And finally, C three four nine six zero zero six version seventeen. So. They have some form of the same version of the firmware. So now this is us. So we're showing something into our into our panel. Um, I suspect that this might be part of our, this is a that might be a phase issue. I'm not. Oh, look at that. It is seeing power from the grid. No, it's not. Okay. This is us outputting power, but it was seeing power from the grid just a second ago, which was weird. Okay, so this is something we need to get resolved. Um, so that's how you update the firmware on the Deya inverter. This is Dr. Sola coming to you from Asheshe in Ogo State. If you like what you see, give me a thumbs up. If you had to subscribe, please click the subscribe button. Once again, Dr. Sola, hope, hoping that we'll get this done done today, because it's driving me nuts enough, and we've, we've been going at this for way too long. Thank you for watching.